Do you want to know where to start when you do wallpapering? There's various options, but today I'm going to tell you about the option I'm going to take. Stay tuned. Riveting stuff. Welcome fellow painters and decorators of the interweb. This is Phil Beckwith, the professional painter and decorator. The professional painter and decorator on YouTube. I think there's a few other professional painters and decorators on YouTube, but they're not called Phil Beckwith. Right, today, I get asked quite a lot about wallpapering and I do these videos as and when. Um, I stack them up as well, so you're probably watching this and I did it weeks ago, but that doesn't matter. I've got videos lined up in front of me. Brilliant, that's, that's been really organised, isn't it? But no, people ask me about wallpapering and uh, not every job's a wallpapering job, but some, sometimes I get a run on wallpapering. Now, one of the big questions that I get asked about wallpapering is, where do you start in a room? Now, there's no set given answer on that because you have to evaluate the whole room and see where you want to start because every paper is going to be different. If it's a wood chip, if you're just lining it, it doesn't really matter, does it? But when you've got a paper that's got a pattern to it, you've got to actually spend a bit of time have a word with the customer if the customer's about about where they want the pattern placement give them advice explain where's the best place to be positioning your papers but as a decorator you should have a rough idea of oh, light i've got pole lights to try and light me up because it's such a dark room look you should be have a, you should have a rough idea where you want to be starting the main thing is where you'll finish and where you'll finish is is going to be the one that never wallpapers never match up when you go around a whole full room when you've got patterns and um, pattern matching so where you finish is normally the shortest drop of wall in a corner that normally and i'll spin my camera around if you can just see me that normally is on things just there or can i do it just there above doors into corners that you don't see it where you'll finish is in corners like that above door frames that's your shortest side and normally it's normally that's at the back of a door so as you come into a room you'll look round it and go oh yeah that looks lovely but if you turn round you'll see underneath well there's an alarm sensor there you've only got a short drop and that's where you'll lose it you don't want big loss of wallpaper pattern matches on um, crucial walls but that by the by right main thing where do you start if you've got a feature wallpaper, you'll get a wall, a main focal wall, and you'll find the middle of it. It's always good to find the horizontal middle and the vertical middle, and then you can work from that. But today, I've got a paper that's a little bit unusual. It's got a big, you see, you probably see that, it's got a big dragonfly on it. Now, the dragonfly, it's a half drop. So the wallpaper is actually not a straight through match. There's obviously the match there, but if it starts there, the next one will be matching there. So it looks like a, the pattern goes on an angle in effect. It's what you call half drop. You can get third drops, not just half drops. So always read the labels. But if you can see this paper and I'll pull it off for you. Can you see there's part of a wing missing and that part of the wing will match up with the other side, which is half drop, so as we come down, it's just, you just see, I don't know if you can see, it's just there. It's just there. So it's not straight through, it's half drop. So on this wall, I've got two light fittings. And in the middle, there's a main picture that's going up. So I've actually got the middle of the two light fittings. Now that isn't the middle of the wall. I don't want the middle of the wall. I could find the middle of the wall and start from that. But this one, because we've got two, can you see, a light fit in there and a light fit in there. They're just the bare wires at the moment, they'll go on. With the screws already in, halfway between is where that nail is and that's where a picture will go. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to find the middle of this wallpaper. Well, it won't be the middle of the wallpaper. I'm going to find between the head and the tail of that dragonfly and that will go plumb down the center where that nail is. Now, I've got my laser. 
my laser's just there and if I turn that on and line that vertical line up uh, you can see line the vertical line up with that nail I know that that's the center of those two lights all I need to do now is find between the head and the tail you see that of the dragonfly I'm not hanging it to the edge I'm not finding the edge of the wallpaper I'm actually hanging it to the focal feature of the wallpaper so when we're talking about pattern placement we've got these two light fittings there so what I'm going to do I'm going to offer up this paper to see what it's like but I'm going to be starting hanging my paper finding the middle of that dragonfly lined up with that you can't see it now lined up with that laser because that is the middle between those two lights and where that picture's going I'm not finding the edge because I don't really want it offset with the paper and the pattern I'm actually going to find the middle people will do this differently people will probably say yay or nay but I'm finding the middle of that dragonfly so the middle of the dragonfly will be centered where that picture would be now if this is a paper that you can balance top and bottom and get a nice balance you can do that unfortunately this isn't so what you've got to do is get your first length which will this be my first length and get it positioned nicely at the top so if that is the top of the paper against the coven I've got no tail or anything like that now what the bottom does you can't do anything about this probably at the bottom a bit of the head coming into it now I have tried to juggle it about to see whether I can get a balance between top and bottom and you can't because the size of the um, height of the cove into the skirting it doesn't doesn't work like that it often doesn't sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't so it is a case of getting it focally right at the top now focally right at the top we'll be having that dragonfly with nothing above it so we won't have a little bit of a tail showing like that we'll have it plain but with it being a half drop the next length will show part of a tail probably as much as that but you can't do anything about it because it's half drop if this was a straight through match you would have that dragonfly going all the way round at that sort of space in between the coving being here where my fingers are and the head unfortunately we can't so what I'm going to do I'm going to get that on now explain it to you when I've got it all on but paste the wall and I don't know whether you can see because we are very light in this room we've lined these walls they weren't brilliant it's been lined with thousand grade lining paper the wall rocks own brand Merv whatever it's called Marv and we did have a little bit of damp issue at the bottom that's supposedly been fixed and we've used the damp stop uh, wall rock it's a silver I don't think we've got any here to show you it's a silver foil paper to stop damp coming through and use their specialist adhesive with that to put it on but also read the instructions because when you line it over that you also use the specialist adhesive to stick to the shiny surface that's for another video but for now got a thousand lining going all the way around because quality papers deserve a quality lining paper underneath it I don't like it when I see people that uh, not putting lining paper on and say no it doesn't matter it does matter we've got a video there about why you should be lining watch that video all right let's get this on all right a few minutes later we've got that first length on we balanced it we've got top of the dragonfly this is a dragonfly there's a gap between the top edge of the dragonfly and the the coving and i'll um show you if I can it's such a pale paper Let's see if I can bring you now you can just see it hopefully yes the laser is picking up on part of the head there and the edge of the tail because it's obviously not a straight tail but all the way top to bottom I've got the same up there with the laser all the way down and the laser takes in that nail which is my center between the two lights one there and one there the paper is offset that is not the middle of the paper you can see that the paper middle is about there 
I'm not worried about that. I wanted to get the, the focal picture central to where that nail is to hang a picture. So anything either side of it can just do what it wants then. But at the bottom, because I'll just show you the top, I've got a gap. Can you see that there? There's a gap between the head and the antenna of about, I won't say 100 mil, it's probably not as much as that, about four inches. But then when we come down to the bottom, can we see that? We've got the head and some of the wings coming in there. I can't do anything about that. You can't balance it top to bottom to even it out that you've got the even space the wall sizes don't allow. I said that um, five minutes ago. But all in all, that's good. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna get the next length on so you can actually see what a half drop is. Because it's not a straight through, it's a half drop. So that to be straight through, half drop is there. So it goes on an angle. So I'll get that on and then you'll see what it's like. There we have it, got those two lengths on. I'm trying to explain half drop to you. Right, the first length we got on, it's got the picture hook on it. So we know we're in the centre of that picture hook, even though the paper's offset, i.e. not in the middle of the centre of the paper. That's fine, I wanted the centre of this dragonfly. But with it being a half drop, straight through, half drop, goes on an angle. Now let me just show you. There, we have your dragonfly with a good, nice space between the, the head and the antennas and the bottom edge of the coving. Now your half drop is, that is now there. Can you see it's coming down on an angle? And that is your half drop. Let me see if I can get a, a mixing stick as a pointer. So if this was straight through, it'd go all the way through on the same level and line. And we'd keep the same sort of distance up at the top. But half drop, that is now there. When it comes to this side, that will be there. Matching through on that one. And there's your match. Can you see? So that's what a half drop is. And that is what pattern placement's all about. Think it through, don't rush it, don't just bang it on because you'll stand back and go, ooh, don't like that. I've spent a bit of time, I've worked it out that this is the best way to have the feature of the dragonfly there, albeit I know when we get down to the bottom I've got part of a dragonfly there and there's no way I could have balanced it any better. What I didn't want to be doing is having half a dragonfly at the top and part of a dragonfly at the bottom and you go well why haven't you got a feature dragonfly at least on your first centre length. All understood? Give some comments. There'll be some videos coming there, following on from this. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Hope it's, hope I've explained it simple enough about half drop and where to start in a room. Because, videos are coming, aren't they? Um, because sometimes you do find the middle of the wall, you find the edge of your paper and work from that, or use the middle of the paper as the centre and work from that. But I'll show you them on other videos when we come to them. But all papering. What do I say to people? The money maker. Wallpapering, the money maker. Click those videos.